Hey, Jonathan Stark here, and I want to talk about um, some remote debugging for mobile web apps. Uh, this video is about JS Console, and it does allow you to remotely debug uh, mobile web applications, or any web applications really, but it's most useful, I think, for mobile web applications. Uh, so I'll just jump right in. Um, the, uh, what we have here, first I'll tell you what's going on here on the screen because it's kind of weird. Here I've got a web browser pointed at jsconsole.com and then over here I have uh, a window that is basically a webcam looking at my desktop. And there's my iPhone on my desktop. In this window, this is a TextMate window that is the source code for this web app, which is a, a JQ Touch demo application. And what I want to do is debug this demo application. I want to view the console.log information that is being output by this app. Uh, it's currently set in debug mode, so there's a, a lot of verbose logging that takes place that helps you troubleshoot any issues that you might be having. And all I really need to do is link up these two things. I need to link up JS Console to my web app over here. And the way that I do that is by um, adding a script tag to the, uh, the source code and the source points to http colon slash slash jsconsole.com slash remote.js question mark and then I need to add a string after the question mark that uniquely identifies this particular instance of this application so that JS console can listen for it. So what I'm going to do here is run the listen command. You can see there's uh, some instructions right here. Just go into the text uh, input area and say listen. And I hit the enter key. And it's going to give me a code. So this is basically my session. So you just copy that here. Paste it into the source code. Save the file. And now what I'm going to do is refresh the app, which is now pointed at this session. And my browser window is also pointed at this session. So the two can communicate. So there you see, uh, these are a bunch of activities that were logged. You can see as I scroll down, the newest is at the top. So these are getting older as I scroll down. And this is, this is great, uh, because normally what you'd have to do is, is activate the um, Safari debugger, like so. So here I'm in the, I'll show you where I am here. I'm in the settings, and then you scroll down to Safari. And you scroll down to the bottom, developer, and then you turn the debug console on. So I have to drill way down to turn this stupid thing on. And then go back to Safari, and it adds this little panel to the top. And it's just a real pain in the butt. There are a lot of things wrong with it. Um, it it's better than nothing, but the debug console is a really frustrating workflow uh, on the iPhone. And on other phones, it, it's not done the same way. So you can't have the same workflow on different devices. For example, Android, you have to tether it to your laptop and run the debugger, and you know, it's totally totally different approach for debugging on uh, Android uh, so in, and, and every other platform so it's really not a great approach it's very frustrating so JS Con console really shines here because it's totally cross-platform um, any web app any mobile app it doesn't matter as long as they're both listening to this same uh, place you could debug anything you could debug from another browser another laptop it doesn't matter um, <clears throat> as you can see as I tap on this logs all sorts of things and it's, it's very useful. It's also two-way which means that I can say uh, like so see some code completion there very nice touch so look at that I mean that's pretty bananas I, I'm on a website here and I just entered some JavaScript and it executed on my phone which is not connected to anything it's completely wireless at the moment uh, we could be on different networks I could be over 3G on the phone it doesn't matter as long as the code that's running on the web app can uh, see jsconsole.com, I'm in good shape. So what that means is there's a drawback, which is that you have to be online to do this. This is not something you can do uh, on your local network. You have to be able to get to the public internet to do this from both your debug client right here and also your web app right here. And there's also sort of a security consideration that you want to be aware of. If somebody else listened for, you know, somebody else goes to jsconsole.com and listened for somehow guessed the same session ID that you had, then 
you know, potentially they could inject JavaScript into your web app if you were running it and your phone was on and all that stuff. I mean, it's not like they can get into your phone or something like that, but theoretically, if you were in the middle of testing and, um, uh, and somebody guessed that session key, then, you know, they could potentially hack into your session. I, I think it's a silly thing to worry about, but uh, you should definitely be aware of it. Um, so let's see what else there. There's one other cool thing that I want to point out. <clears throat> so now in this particular instance, I'm running the, you know, this is my app. I have access to the source code. I can edit the source code and, you know, so that way I can link it up to JS console. But what if I wanted to use JS console with an application that I don't have access to the source code? Well, uh, there are instructions here on how to inject the JS console into any page. So let's say uh, I'm a, maybe I want to see how, I don't know, Gmail mobile works or something like that. I can take a bookmarklet and, uh, and drag it into my bookmarks bar and then sync it over to Safari, or, or, or even I could type it in if I wanted to, but the point is I need to get this bookmarklet onto my mobile device and then I go to whatever page I want and then hit the bookmarklet and what it's going to do is inject this script tag into the DOM for that page. So even though it's not my web app, I can actually modify that page with the bookmarklet, link it up to JS console, and then, you know, debug that page, which is very educational. It can be a very educational thing. Uh, so that's also very useful. So if you need some quick and easy cross-platform remote web app debugging, uh, and you do have an internet connection, you know, it's a cloud service, so you have to have an internet connection, then JS Console is definitely worth looking at. Uh, so thanks to Remy for putting it together. Cheers.